you'd honestly think that considering you paid $1,499, $1,500 essentially, technical issues would be resolved within minutes or hours. But uh, that's not the case with Offsec. My VPN's been dead for like three days now. Getting into four days. Today's the, like the fourth day. Sunday. It's not working. I couldn't get anything done. And uh, I'm almost out of time. But nonetheless, we go gym. I am a Zeno. Jack's on the track. G. Alright, so it's actually not always doom and gloom like I make it seem. The labs are pretty fun for the most part, and you are probably going to enjoy them as much as I did. What I mostly wanted to talk about in this video is hitting a plateau. Like, you get to a point where you are not making as much progress as you used to, right? The machines get hard, a lot of bumping around as you look for dependencies across networks and active directory sets and just general stuff credentials ssh keys etc when you get to that point that's when most people start talking about the try harder mentality that offsec always tries to instill in his students right you're either gonna get to that point realize it is hard break leave it or try harder do more research hit up different people it's not a bad thing to ask for help when you can figure something out because then you have to find that balance between making actual progress and learning from other people and other resources, right? You can't always think you can do it by yourself. That's a dumb thing to think. For me, that point was around 40 machines. As of the recording of this video, I'm currently sitting at 50 out of 70 machines. I think there's 70. Yeah, I'm currently sitting at 50. And my lab time ends on the 10th of July. So I have a few more days. My goal is to get to at least 60, which is, which I don't think I'll get to if Offsake takes his time fixing this VPN issue. Because, bro, it started on Thursday, right? Thursday was two days ago, probably the 24th. So nothing on the 24th, nothing on the 25th, nothing on the 26th. Tomorrow is Sunday, the 27th. They're definitely not going to fix it on Sunday. Uh, hold up. It's Sunday, the next day. I just got an email from Offsec saying they fixed the problem. I checked and they actually did fix the problem. So I was wrong. It's just four days. It was just Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and half of Sunday. Will they add five days to your lab time? Probably not. They probably see it as a business expense. But at the same time, bro, you paid 1,500 bucks. You would expect things to work. And it would be okay if you had one problem with the VPN. but this happens quite frequently, actually. So we end up having a problem with Offsec. And uh, our money is going down the train. Is it our fault? No. Back to the try harder thing. That was a bit of a tangent. Back to the try harder thing. Get help. Seek help. Actively seek help. This Offsec Discord. It's my Discord. It's a young plug. You know what I mean? There's a ton of Discords with people that are starting for the OSCP. Trust me, you're not the only one who wants it. So get help, make progress, and figure things out. There's a lot going on in everyone else's life and in your life. You can't expect the time it took me to go through the labs to be the same as yours. For example, I know one guy who took two weeks to go through the entire lab, and he said he doesn't have any prior experience, which I think is a lie. Two weeks with no prior, nah, no. I think that that was just cap. He was trying to brag or something, but he said it took him two weeks. And then there's another guy I know. He said it took him about a month and a half. He started just after me, but it's completely done. Now he's working on his report, which is crazy. I might not finish in three months, the 90 days. I'm not even going to fuss about it. Don't do the comparing thing because it really puts you in a mental space where you think you're terrible, but you're actually making a ton of progress. For some people, they take the exam just after or in between the labs. I'm personally not gonna take the exam just after my lab time. Gonna do some HTP and some other stuff and then take the exam. So hopefully sometime in August, like halfway through August, before the fall semester, that's if even that happens. There's a lot going on, but don't compare, right? Get help, seek friends, 
learn from other people but don't do this comparing thing there's some people that ask the question how long does it take to go through the labs it depends there's no definite answer it could take you eight months it could take you a week it could take you two weeks like other people so just a few closing things i'd like to mention that might help you in your preparation like going through the labs when you're working on a different network don't revert the machines if you've already started what i mean is when you're starting on a new network revert all of the machines in one go and then once you start in one machine you root another machine don't revert those there might be dependencies and all that so you might want to just go back there make a user do some post exploitation and persistence so that you can just jump back in if you need to look for something like credentials ssh keys etc right that's just basic methodology is important the more you build up your methodology and stick to it the less you get lost right i'm personally using a timer on my phone every time i hop on a service or i'm looking at something 30 minutes right if the 30 minutes are up and i think i'm close 10 minutes if the 10 minutes are up and i think i'm closer out of five minutes if that doesn't work i'm moving on to the next thing if i've exhausted everything that's when i take a look at everything again and then allocate a few more minutes to each thing that's personally how i'm doing it you could do it differently some people do it the same but make sure you're timing your stuff because you could look at a rabbit hole on port 80 and yet i've seen port 22 being exploited that was the first time I spent hours on port 80 and port 22 had vulnerability, which was weird. I was like, that's weird. I hope I don't see that in the exam, but time your stuff, add persistence, do a lot of post exploitation. That's one other thing. Uh, it really tries to teach you. A lot of people just talk about how it's CTFE and I mean, it kind of is CTFE at some point, but you learn a lot of things. I've learned basic antivirus evasion, which is pretty cool. Persistence, post exploitation, just a lot of stuff. It's not just the hacking and the CTS type you see on like hack the box or try hacking. It's actually a lot of pretty cool stuff. And that's one thing people don't mention when they trash on the OSCP. They forget the good stuff and just look at some of the t tiny bad stuff like the VPN connection dying or how expensive it is. Those are very valid points. And at some point, depending on how you look at it, those two points could trump every other thing. But we're not going to look at it like that, right? We're going to look at it as a learning experience. It is what it is. And hopefully they fix it soon enough because I want to finish my labs. I want to get to my goal 60 machines. And if I surpass the goal, great. If I don't get it, it is what it is. Might consider an extension in the future if I don't think I'm prepared enough after doing like ATB and other things. That is the update. I have a few more days of lab time. After the lab time, HTB, TJ Nels list, hopefully all of it before mid-August. That is when I'm thinking I should sit my exam for. The last thing I want to say is going to sound like repetition, but get people to study with. Listen to me get people to study with get people to study with if you think you can do it on your own you're terribly mistaken you will have a hard time and you might fail you might not finish the labs and you won't get a lot or enough of what you're supposed to get from the labs so join the discord below and we can study together why not do that huh you know but uh, that's it for me, bruh. I'll catch you in the next one. Let me go do something else because I can't work on the